We're back and we're ready to do it all over again. No, I'm not launching a political campaign here today. We're back playing another retro, inverted commas, F1 game. We're back with F1 2011 because a few days ago we played F1 2010. And so running the numbers, looking at the maths and the science behind it all, it only seems logical that 2011 be the next one we play. Yes, I know, don't don't all applaud at once, I know, I'm a maths genius, but 2011 is after 2010, so there you go. Straight away, the music is different, the vibe is a little bit different here at the main menu. We've got a bit of nice car carbon fibre, we've done away with the uh, pit crew sort of... Uh, background. We've got a sign in yet again. Um, so still one year on, Codemasters hadn't learned that we don't want to sign in to any other additional sign in features apart from Steam. Welcome to F1 2011. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. And immediately we're chucked into a bit more of a smarter uh, menu screen here. No longer chucked straight into any interviews, but obviously career mode is the name of the game. So let's check in. So here we go. Catalonia pre-season. When pre-season was still a thing in the get in F1 game. It's been a, in a few it's been a few years since they really even acknowledged pre-season testing. Oh, it's Crofty! Giving up your time and welcome to Formula One. My name's David Croft, and I've been getting lots of tweets from your fans at home. Who wants to know a bit more about you? Yes. Yes, my lad. Right, my full name. Here we go. Crofty, it's good to actually have you. Not like the B-Tech Crofty from F1 2010. We actually had your likeness in the game. Although I must say you can tell the game's from 2011 because it looks like he's eating the microphone. Or the microphone's rather stuck to him, actually. If I do a little bit of Photoshop, it actually looks like he's just opened his mouth. And that's just his mouth hole and he doesn't have any teeth. Jesus Christ. And then there's Donny on the left. I remember him. He was a bit creepy because he's, he's looking at the camera. He's looking at the camera. And oh, 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 he just takes a little peek and then looks back at the camera. I mean, why? What, why are you doing that, mate? You're freaking me out. You're freaking my PR woman next to me, I imagine. You're freaking everyone out. You shouldn't be in the paddock. You look sus. Oh, my God. Again, game for Windows. I can't get rid of game for Windows Live. Right. Like last time, player one will be my name. Let's keep it simple. And team, well, we went with Virgin last time. You know what? We got to go and HRT for one simple reason. We've got the cucumber. We've got Mr. Narayan Kartikeyan himself. We've got to be with him. Finally, following on from a pretty intensive pre-season test, you must be itching to get your F1 career underway in Melbourne. How much of a challenge am I expecting from F1? Well, if we uh, flash back to last time when I played uh, F1 2010, um, I don't think I'm looking for much of a challenge. What a... Oh, it's, it's gone really well. Oh, no, I've spun it. No, we've spun it. No, no, oh, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. So not too much. I'm new to this and need to keep uh, get up to speed. I think I think we'll go with that. I look forward to seeing just how you get on in Australia. Well, we load in and we get cracking. So that was pre-season. That that was it. That was literally like we, we saw Crofty and that was it. If, if I knew that was going to be pre-season, I wouldn't have turned up. But now we go. Race number one. It's not Bahrain this time. It's Australia, of course. And even if we did go to Bahrain, it wouldn't be that random layout. But of course, remember in 2011, actually Bahrain was off the calendar. So that just got completely yeeted out of the way. But here we are then. This is our motorhome. I'm surprised there's no shed that's been made out of wood, but here we go. Hey, this is Andy Knight, your race engineer. Welcome to the world of Formula One. Who are you? And what have you done with my northern engineer? Where is, where is he? Where, have you locked him up? You've put him away, haven't you? He didn't do a good enough job last video. You've locked him up. You put in this robot guy. What on earth is going on? This is like the difference between when SpongeBob's a normal version of himself or when he's that squeaky clean version of himself. Yeah, right, here we are in the new ends here at HRT. New motorhome. It's uh, looking rather fabulous, actually. Definitely a, a nice step up and upgrade from 2010 it was, but uh, things a little bit different around here. We've got a laptop now. No more. Is a creepy agent going to be staring at me? Thank God, actually, because that did definitely freak me out last time around. But uh, we got emails. Welcome to Formula One. Welcome to HRT. Race weekend introduction. Cool. So that's pretty much the laptop, actually. Just emails, standings, and then track info. That's how we don't care about that. We've got a nice little HRT screen saver there. Helmet design. We've got a random TV with just random replays of of, of nothing really. I'd rather than put on something, you know, a little bit more topical to be honest. 
helmet. We can choose from helmets again. We've got the uh, Anthony Davidson helmet back again. But this was this was the classic. This was the one I always chose. This looked like uh, Sebastian Vettel's helmet at the time with the swirls. So I always pick that. That's just a little bit of nostalgia for me. Let's just get into it then. Let's get into Australia. Welcome to the garage. Let me show you around. Oh my god, your voice is so boring. Important information about the race weekend. There's a lot of useful information here. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've had it. Where, look, Honestly, where is the fun gone? Why have we sucked all the entertainment out of this game with the engineer already? It's been one year. We've moved from 2010 to 2011, and we've literally removed some of the fun already. And here we are in HRT. I've only actually realized I'm not actually, uh, I'm not alongside the cucumber himself. I've replaced the cucumber. So we are the new cucumber on the block. Right, car set up. Uh, I think this is very much almost like 2010 again so let's just go with well actually it's an hrt so it's a 1-1 wings we might need to go with 10-10 wings to be on or 11-11 to be honest because well i mean i don't think our arrows i mean this is a team remember that didn't even make the 107 percent rule in australia so i feel like 11-11 might be needed all right we roll we move pit lanes empty we get going there right behind a Williams car, and we're here in the HRT. Oh my god, I forgot how bad 2011 was actually, visually speaking. I mean, look at the suspension, look at the wheels. The, I forgot how bad the physics were with the suspension in this game. Like, they overdid the suspension arm. So, every single car was just bouncing up and down on the suspension. And the handling, this was the lock-to-lock -lock steering, remember. If you're on a wheel, F1 2011 was your game. Because on a steering wheel, all you had to do was go left, full lock to the left or full lock to the right. And you made every corner. I'm on a controller right now, and it's just understeer city. All right, here we go. Let's see what this HRT has to offer. Chuck it in. Oh, no, not got any downforce, do we? That's gone badly wrong. <gasps> it's the legend. The man, the myth, he's back in the F1 games here in this video. It's Pastor Maldonado. Oh, Maldonado, wait, no, come back. I want to sign my, sign my helmet, please. Maldonado, come on. That could have been taken in the wrong way. I meant my race helmet, folks. My race helmet, not the other. Uh, um, um, um. Right, DRS open. Oh, I forgot about this. DRS was available at all points in the lap here. So you can just open it willy-nilly in the middle of a corner and have the rear end step out. Well, that seems about right. We... We, we begin as we need to go on, spinning on track. Good, good. All right, here we go. Flat out commitment. you got to send it. If you don't, what's the point? Send it. Oh, no. That's uh, that's gone badly wrong. Puncture. And we've a I've actually had such a bad crash, I teleported to a different part of the circuit. And Maldonado's just gone fast. It's time to red flag the session. End things there. End it there. He needs to remain first. All right, it's qualifying day, boys. It's time to do the business. I am ready and raring to go to come in stone dead last. All right, here we go. Where is it? There we go. Fuel map rich mix. We've actually got some rich mix to play around with this time, unlike 2010. I need to get into the zone of opening DRS Alto at every single straight, but... I'm ready. Come on, right. This needs to be the best lap. Of, I mean, oh my god. Even warming up the tires, you can see how. Oh, and the game has crashed. The get. Oh, oh, no, I'm back. <laughs> you guys thought I had bad screen freezes in F1 2018. I think F1 2011 just tossed its hat into the ring. It wants a piece of the cake. Right, turn one. Let's go. Oh, turn. Right, okay. We've nailed that turn, actually. That was pretty okay. Feeling better about this. Come on. Just got to get into the zone of this very janky and wobbly steering that we've got in this game. We've gone purple. We've gone purple. I'm not going to go purple anymore. Is that a Glock? Is that Glock going slowly? Yes, it is. Get out of the way, man. He's still in my way. Stop. What? Mate. Mate. Stop parking a German bus in front of me. I know I'm driving a bus myself, but come on. DRS open. Come on. We've got to overtake him on the line. We've got to go for another flying lap here. I don't know if the tire's going to give way. Uh, I don't know. We've got six laps. I can't really tell. We've gone purple, though, so that's something. For now, we are fastest. So, again, if the FI just want to stop the session now, that'd be great. All right, we've got less than five minutes to go, and quite amazingly, somehow, I'm in P18 compared to Lutzi, who's in P20. So, I don't know what on earth he's been doing. Has he been going around Australia on a pedal bike? Because I thought my lap was horrendous, and somehow we're P18. Uh, your brakes are overheating. Try to call them by braking less aggressively, or we might 
running to problems. I haven't even started my lap, mate. How are they overheating? That's the top quality craftsmanship of HRT on show there. Haven't even started the flying lap. My brakes are already overheating on the out lap. That's really good. Let's do the business here. Full lock. Lovely. DRS open. Let's make this a good one. We're P18. Let's aim for higher, shall we? We can do better. Last bend. It's been a pretty okay lap, I think. We've been pretty somewhat clean. I mean... I can't lie, it's not been one of the best laps I've ever done on an F1 game, but here we come to the line. What's it going to be? It's a 120. It's pole! It's pole position in an HRT! I can't lie, I think maybe our interview answers at the start about what kind of challenge you want in Formula 1 have maybe, just maybe, altered the difficulty level in such a way where we can get pole and HRT. Might need to look into that. But now nah, I'm going to savor this right now at least on Saturday. It's a miraculous day for for one. He, he's got his first pole in Formula 1. And that is one for P1 in Formula 1 with all the ones. Stunning drive. Tomorrow you'll start from pole position. Even the engineer back in 2011... Can't even get the right excitement levels. My man, we've just got pole in an HRT. You need to be a bit more excited than just going, wow, you got pole. Great job. That's actually a pretty good voice. I think I could do the engineering job in next year's game. Can you imagine that? You guys playing the game at home, you get the first win of your career, and then the radio comes on and it's just, wow, great job. Good stuff. You got your first win. Nice one. When did I become Moss out of IT crowd? Boy, oi, big boy Crofty wants an interview. Let's go for it. Aspirations for the current season. And do you have any personal objectives that you want to achieve? Well, we'll be looking to beat the other teams around us. And uh, well, for us right now on Saturday, that's uh, Ferrari and Red Bull. So, yeah. You look to have a good qualifying session today. Are you pleased with how it went? We had a unbelievable session. Is there any kind of answer like that? No, we're, we're, we're right where we wanted to be. Yep, yeah, you know what? Let's just be full of God. We're right where we should have been. Well, we've got pole and HRT. So, I imagine the uh, contract offers are going to be blasting through on the email. Oh. Oh. Well, at least with contract offers failing me, I've got uh, uh, two new groupies, apparently, on the right-hand side in the motorhome. Right, it's race time here. Look at that. The glory that is an HRT on pole position. We're ready to go. Let's do this thing. So, your first race. Don't worry about your finishing position. Just get a feel for the car and concentrate on having a clean race. Nah, mate. Not going to concentrate on that. I'm going to concentrate on getting this home to a race win. Here we go. It's a five red lights. And we're on the way. It's a bit of a slow start for me. And oh, the Ferrari's already got me. I, I've actually, I've, I've not even noticed this entire time. The HRT, of course, doesn't even have any curves. So I don't have curves. Vettel might have some curves and he's got past me. Oh no, I'm being swamped. Oh no, I've got the brakes over. Oh, what? You know what? I meant to do that. I just brilliantly dive bombed Sebastian Vettel. It's only a three lap race. I've kept it nice and short and sweet because that will give us enough time to win a race in an HRT. Oh, here comes Massa then. I'm guessing with some curves. No DRS yet, but our, our, our lack of curves is certainly hurting us. But we're going to try and outbreak him. Oh, uh, gone wide. He's got us. Oh, sorry, Vettel. I've taken you out. Oh, that's uh, that's ironic. Vettel got taken out by an HRT. That's awkward. I really have become the new cucumber. He's not pit because, of course, it's a three-lap race. What's the point? But here comes Weber. No, no, sir. No. Squeeze you. Oh, I've, I've literally squeezed him and he just backed off straight away. That's the F1 2011 AI for you. Literally scared off the road by a simple twitch of the wheel. I did put the difficulty up after qualifying and still I'm doing pretty okay in the HRT and P3. Just that I, I forgot maybe. Maybe 2011 was really just this piss easy. I'm telling you, it's the, it's the lock to lock handling. Once you grasp the concept of every corner, you're going full lock. You're just going to do well. And grass on the tyres, there's nothing. It's literally just like an, a nice texture onto the tyre. It's like an unlockable in like a Battle Royale game. Oh, do you want green tyres, sir? Yes, I do. That looked quite nice. Last lap of the GP. Hamilton's right up much off and he's backed out again. He's too scared. He's AI. They've got no balls. Kevin, Mag Kevin Magnussen would be very upset because he couldn't tell anyone to go suck anything because there's nothing to suck there because we're going to come through. No, not on the line. Not like this. Not like this. No. Yes, we've hit him. No. Oh, he's taken the podium away from us. On the line. P4. Still, that's pretty much a win for an HRT, I think. Great result. A solid points finish. <laughs> Again, is that all you have to say, mate? We just got... 12 points 
in an HRT. Did they even get points ever in their history of F1? I don't think they even ever got points. So we just got 12 in one go, and all you can say is, great job, you got some points. Look at that, HRT ahead of Lotus, Torosso, Mercedes, Force India, Sauber, Williams, Virgin, and Lotus. That is a sight to behold. And what is also a sight to behold is the absolute amazing graphics. I mean, look at it. The gra <laughs> They're so bad, half these pictures look like they're just white square. The Mercedes one looks like it's literally a white square. It is just a white square logo. Right, I bet Crofty's gonna be absolutely thrilled. He's gonna be asking me all the important questions about these important points. I can't wait. Are you expecting to be one of the main protagonists this season? That is definitely a Crofty kind of question. <laughs> one good race with HRT, and he's like, you're in the title fight, right? <laughs> Let's wait and see how things pan out. It was your main objective for this race, and you succeeded in doing that. So are the team happy with how the weekend has gone? I think the team should be bloody ecstatic, mate, yes. But that is going to be it, I think, for today of playing F1 2011 career mode. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, then be sure to smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and let me know if you want to see more of this and another retro F1 game in the comments. But if you're on your own, do subscribe for weekly fallen content. I've been Aaron for Home Just Today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.